Hello, Foxhound agents. I'm Hunter. Welcome to Metal Gear Solid Integral. So, as is common on this channel, some things have happened. So, first of all, let's load the game. You cannot see this. Maybe I'll take a screenshot. This here is a mission log. We haven't been seeing mission logs throughout the whole game, but they're quite nice. They tell us what's going on. Here's a fun fact. If you set Metal Gear Solid to Windows 98 compatibility mode, it will display mission logs. And if you don't, it won't. So, that's what I've done here. Also, it has come to my attention that the encoding efficiency in Windows XP is horrendous. Well, to be honest, standards have changed over time, but NVIDIA, in its infinite wisdom, chose not to write a driver for their hardware encoding system. On Windows XP. So when you record in Windows XP it has to be x264 and that's just very inefficient compared to uh, a modern hardware encoder like NVENC. That's only available on Windows 7 and newer operating systems. So I decided that I would record in Windows 7. Well, guess what? Metal Gear Solid doesn't want to run correctly in Windows 7. I loaded up the game and it runs at like 15 frames a second in hardware rendering. So as it turns out, uh, Metal Gear Solid Integral, I've said this before, but it's this hacked together port that's got all these hardware calls and it's just very uh, ad hoc. It's not very well put together. And to be honest, if you want to play the definitive Metal Gear Solid, you really should do it on the PlayStation because I've been reading about this and they left a lot of things out of the uh, Windows port some graphical effects, some music. We already know the fonts look like crap, but we just sort of assume that the reason for that is because the resolution is a lot higher. And that's true, the resolution is higher, but that didn't necessarily translate into an overall better uh, experience. And you're supposed to have a PlayStation controller and all this stuff. It's a very different experience. If you don't have a PlayStation, you know, Metal Gear Solid Integral is a, it's, it's reasonable. It's not, it's not that far off, but it's also not the best Metal Gear Solid experience that you can have. So that's worth mentioning. There's a patch that a guy uh, made several years back that allows hardware rendering to work in Metal Gear Solid Integral on Windows uh, 7 and higher. So I put that in. There's another patch that a guy made to fix some of the music issues that the porters left behind. So I tried to combine those two things. I don't know if I did successfully. You have to unpack the uh, the executable that the, the guy who did the uh, hardware rendering patch uh, can't remember on camera. <laughs> uh, anyway, you unpack it and then you can apply the patch. And I don't know if it worked or not. Maybe I just messed everything up. Who knows? Uh, the whole game is practically uh, done. Yeah, you know, so we missed a lot of mission logs and we probably missed a lot of the 
opportunity to hear all of that music, but I, I don't know. I didn't come into this like expecting uh, technical issues. I came in here to play the game. So what I got was technical issues. Uh, I'm not even done. This game runs at 30 frames per second. And so if it looks smooth on the screen at 30 frames a second and you record it at 30 frames a second, it should look smooth. That is not the case. It does not look, the recording does not look the way the rendering looks. So I decided to try recording at 60 frames per second. And for reasons that are unknown to me, it now looks smooth. It looks the way on the video that it does on screen. That's all I wanted. One more thing. OBS is actually able, it has a mode that is able to capture the overlays in Metal Gear Solid Integral. If OBS is recording the screen output, it can actually record the menus correctly. I forget if Hypercam showed the menus or not. That was a long time ago. However, there are not going to be any menus in the video. Because, again, for reasons that only OBS knows, screen capture, it, the frame rate is just bad. I don't understand. If you specify a frame rate, it should just give you that frame rate. But that's not what happens when you use screen capture. Game capture gives you a smooth frame rate, but not screen capture. And guess what? For reasons that go way beyond my understanding, in spite of the fact that game capture specifically offers a couple of different uh, switches relating to overlays, none of them seem to have anything to do with the overlay present in the Metal Gear Solid integral menus. They don't work. Game capture cannot see that overlay. Only screen capture can. So I can choose between smooth video and showing you the menus. I have chosen smooth video. So the video is going to look better now and the quality is going to be higher. My file sizes are going to be about one sixth as large as it was before. And that's going to let me put out higher quality video. So it's a win-win. And here's our mission log. We get mission logs now. So I'm sorry it took to the end of the game to, or what I think it's the end of the game, based on, yeah, I, I had issues with the mission logs. If you, if you uh, use the, uh, the good old games version of Metal Gear Solid Integral, it will give you more resolution options. And it breaks the mission log in that, uh, the text will be the correct size, but the background image will be, it won't be scaled. So it'll be a tiny postage stamp in the upper left corner. I tried resizing the images and going down this rabbit hole of shit that I shouldn't have to do because really, I didn't want to re-engineer the game to look correct, you know. I was actually doing a crazy workaround in Windows XP to get the videos to play. I didn't do that in game. I played them using a special proprietary format player separate from the game and then edited that in. Well, I, I really don't want to do any of that. I just want to play the game. Okay, the mission log. Snake finally arrived at the control room. And then the villains started talking to themselves about their plan. You know, Golukovich. What about Golukovich's 1,000 men? He's ready to strike. Yes, what about that? Let's, let's go over exactly who he is every time we mention him. Spetsnaz! Anyway, Ocelot shot at the doorway and Snake dropped the key somewhere. So there you go. And then you can see in the background... Ocelot and Liquid Snake. That's what that sketch is. I only know that because I spent a long time trying to resize the image 
when I was using the good old games version of Metal Gear Solid Integral. Why do I bother? I'm actually going to have a great file size because most of the uh, video is going to be this static image of the mission log. Anyway, I had to redo everything. I hope I got it right. I think I did. I had to run through this over and over and over again just to make sure that the video was recording correctly. I still don't know what the deal is with the, the black strip on the bottom. I think that might be a, an artifact of the port. I don't know. We gotta move on from this. So, uh, we're looking for the key card. Snake probably dropped it right in front of a camera. And as soon as I get near it, I'm probably going to get ambushed by 50 guys, because what else is going to happen? But, uh, anyway, let's see what everyone has to say about this. Find that key. It fell somewhere in that drainage ditch. Use your mind detector. Mind detector? Yes, the mind detector works just like a metal detector. The position of the card key should show up on your radar screen. Radar screen? Oh, is it not jammed down here? Also, mind detector? Seriously? Find that key. It fell somewhere in that drainage ditch. Use your mind detector. Okay. You've lost the key? Hurry up and find it! They've already entered the detonation code! The only way to stop that launch is to lock the system by re-inputting the detonation codes. If you use the mine detector, you should be able to find the key even if it fell into the drainage ditch. Whatever you do, find that key. So, the good thing is they don't know that I have the key. The bad thing is they locked the door. So, yeah, the door is locked. You lost the key? Hurry up and find it! They've already entered the detonation code! If you use the- Ah, okay. There is a big difference between conventional weapons and weapons of mass destruction. Have we heard this? Conventional weapons are intended for use against military targets. But nuclear weapons are used against non-combatants. Nukes are designed to kill tens of thousands of innocent civilians in a flash. That is why nuclear weapons are so evil. That sounds like something you should have said at the beginning of the game. Not right now, when we're standing in front of Metal Gear. Those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. That is why the world must never forget Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Well, she's right about that. You know, Japan... Oh man, those guys were crazy. They were they were evil. They were evil, alright? But... But I feel like the... I feel like the way the war was fought was evil as well. I just... I just think there was so much needless death. I don't know. It's easy to look back in retrospect and say, well, they should have done this, but... Uh, as an American, I do not feel pride about the way the war was fought. I really don't. Nuclear weapons are destructive enough to kill every living thing on Earth and to render the planet uninhabitable for tens of thousands of years. Okay. Good information, Nastasha. In the history of mankind, there has never been a weapon created which was not later used. If we do not do something, we are just going to blow ourselves up. There's no doubt about it. As long as nuclear weapons exist, 
have the sword of Democles hanging over our heads. Well, you're right about that. I don't know what we can do, though. And, you know, just talking about it, I, I suppose, is a good thing, but as individuals, as citizens, we don't control what what is collectively decided by governments. We don't. I mean, they call it democracy. Did you vote on this? Did you vote for nuclear weapons? Did you? Nuclear weapons are destructive enough to kill every living thing on Earth and to render the planet uninhabitable for tens of thousands of years. Okay. Thank you, Nastasha. Thank you for grounding us. The terrorists are finished inputting the detonation codes. The only way to stop the launch now is to re-input the detonation codes to lock the detonation mechanism. You need that key to do it. Find that key, Snake. There's no other way. Speaking of key, can you open that door? Find that key, Snake. There's no other way. Yeah, my detector. Hey, you. You. These guys are still offline. What is it, Snake? Talk to you later, Snake. Oh, Mei Ling doesn't seem bothered by the situation. Alright, so... They told me to get out the mine detector. Yeah, I, I kind of changed some... I had to reset all of the... keybinds, and I, I don't know if I... Uh, they might be different now. In case things weren't hard enough for me. There's stuff down there. I can't walk down there, right? Wouldn't that kill me or something? Actually, I have no idea. Finally, some gameplay after all this talking. What's the, uh... It's... I don't know what that is. Okay, let's put it away. Wrong oh, button. Wrong button. Oh my god. So there's two of them. Hmm. Weird. Apparently I can go down there. Camera, very, very strategically placed camera. That's very annoying. Okay, I need to throw one of these. At least I have plenty of these. Um, here. Okay, so. Let's just review for a second. This radioactive water is killing me very quickly. I probably want to gun out, just, you know, because I need to find the key card. I cannot see where I'm going. Bomb. What do you mean bomb? What bomb? Where's the freaking key card? Ration. What? What? Snake! Snake! I am confused. What just happened?
Okay. That was, uh... That was a load of crap. My detector... Doesn't matter where I throw this, actually, does it? Rasha. Falky, I got it. Do I want the bomb? Possible enough, man. I don't care, really. Really? I don't care. Okay. What can I do for you, Snake? Be careful, Snake. Wrong number. You got the car key. Good. Now get back to the control room and use that key to re-input the PAL codes. Stop that launch. This is the end of the game. You got the car key. Good. You got the car key back? Good job. Now hurry to the control room. All right, guys. That is a mine detector. It works by searching for metal objects. It will even find claymores that are hidden with optic stealth technology. It is set so that the position of the landmines will show up on your radar. All you have to do is equip the mine detector and keep an eye on your radar. Use it carefully. You know, I don't know what that bomb thing was, but I feel like I need it. I feel like, I don't know why the items were in a different position either, but I feel like if I don't go back and get it, I'm going to need it upstairs to break open the door. I don't know why that would make any sense, but let's just go grab this. Wait, is this going to kill me? Bah. understand what happened now. I was trying to place the bomb, but I have no idea what I'm doing with the keys. Snake! Snake! Okay. I think we've seen that item before, actually. Somewhere. Somewhere in the past. Alright. So how do I use an item? Body armor. I don't know. How do I use the button? I don't know. Maybe the description of the bomb? I don't think it does. I know we've seen that before. Can I just go down through here? Let's switch to the mine detector. Oh, I went the wrong way. Can I just go in through here? way better, right? Items are random. Can't see what you're doing. Palky. I'll just ignore the other one. That's way better. Alright. That is a mind detector. Okay. Nastasha doesn't have anything specific to say about what we're going through right now. You found the card key, right? First comes the room temperature key. Put it into the far left terminal in the control room. It's locked. The key is actually an IC card. Its connector pins and main body are made of a shape memory alloy. It's designed so that unless it's been changed to the correct shape, it won't be recognized by the PAL code input terminal in the control room and the detonation code won't be entered. You found the card key, right? First comes the room temperature key. All right. Well. 
Well, Melee. Well. What can I do for you, Snake? Not much progress this time, but I spent a lot of time talking, and you know what? Uh, I do that because I want to do that. Now, I mean, I don't record a video just to babble, but hey, Mei-Ling. But uh, no, I, I like the uh, contemplative style. We think things over and talk a little bit. This is not a speed run, you know. We're going through this journey and Downstairs. Very weird. Did not expect. What can I do for you, Snake? How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Have you ever heard that? It's Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Uh, oh, don't think too deeply about that one. I'm not sure why I said it. 